Hey guys, welcome to French Creek Farmhouse. I'm Christy. The project I'm going to be tackling today is covering up this pass-through between our kitchen and our family room. So you might be wondering why cover it up, but we're not opening the diner in our living room anytime soon, and it's creating kind of an awkward flow. I also don't like that it's very difficult to decorate between these two rooms, so it's gotta go. So before we start tackling the project, let's talk about how we came to this project in the first place. This pass through is not original to our home. The original floor plan of our kitchen included a walk-in pantry, but at some point about 15 or 20 years ago, a homeowner did some DIY remodeling projects and decided to take out the pantry in order to expand the breakfast nook. Expanding the breakfast nook was a great idea, but this is a load-bearing wall. And we know we can't take down load-bearing walls without raising the beam up into the ceiling, which was cost prohibitive. And we get it because it doesn't fit into our budget either. But until we can do something structural, we can at least cover it up in the meantime so that it's less of an eyesore when we go to decorate between these two rooms. So I picked up this old window at a garage sale several months ago, and I really loved the chippy white farmhouse character. It legitimately came out of a farmhouse and I dug it out of a barn with the help of the woman who was selling it. So it fits perfectly for our decor and the dimensions are just right for the size. We're not gonna be mounting it into that opening, but we will be hanging it. So first thing I'm going to do is give it a good cleaning. Okay, all six panes are totally clean. And you might wonder about the paint because some of the paint was chipping off a little bit. I only lightly cleaned the wooden frame because I didn't want more of that paint to chip off. So if you're concerned about lead-based paint, you can buy a test kit at the hardware store and you can find out whether or not any of the paint in that item that you're using is lead-based. We aren't going to be using this in a way that's really very dangerous. It's decorative, it's out of the way, it's not going to be somewhere where anybody's going to be putting anything into their mouth or eating off of it or anything like that. So it's really not a concern for us for a decorative piece like this. But if that's a worry for you, you can certainly do a test and then you could remove the paint if you wanted to. So the next thing is hardware and I'm going to be hanging these with some eye hooks. So I bought, I bought eye hooks at the hardware store and then I screwed them into just a piece of wood and I spray painted them black because I didn't want them to be the shiny, you know, bright color that you normally get straight out of the package. So I did four of those. I'll be putting two into the ceiling and two into the frame and we'll get started on that. Okay, I'm adding these eye hooks now into the top of the window frame. And before I do that, I'll be marking the spots where I'm going to add them, but I'm also going to be pre-drilling a pilot hole, which is really important because I don't want to split the wood, crack the frame, or damage this beautiful window because then it's useless.
back to work. working outside and it's his night to make dinner, but now I need to ask him to help me hang the window. What you making? I'm making, I don't know what I'm making, stuffed bell peppers. Can I ask you to come help me? As soon as I finish chop chopping this jello. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. really couldn't be happier with how this project turned out. Someday we'll want to add a load-bearing beam into the ceiling and make structural changes to this space, but until then, this was an easy way to correct an awkward eyesore. Don't forget to like this video! And subscribe to follow our homesteading journey!